that's okay. We'll see. It might be a little bit plungy. Um, and you know what we'll do is we will slow down our approach feed at, oh yeah, I don't want it 100% for sure. We'll do that at 40%. Usually it defaults to 50%. I'm not sure why it went to 100 there. Okay, let's do the chamfer. To finishing 2D contouring, select just one of the edges for now. Curve, turn off the offset. Tool, for me it's tool 25, which is a two flute carbide mill drill. 20, uh, 0.25, it is, uh, you have to call it an engraver, 45, zero, that gives me the tip. We'll go 5,108, and we will come back and edit this in a second. Let's look at the height. So click on that line and click on properties, and that'll tell us it's down 0.02. So go back here. So we want to go down 0.02, and I've been over this before though. We don't want to cut with the very tip. In fact, I'll show you right now. If we went in here, let's move that over here. And we and we run this, it's gonna be cutting with the very tip of the tool like that. I don't like that. So we want to cut more with the middle of the side of the tool. So we'll go 0.04 and we'll add 0.02 of the stock. Make sense? Good. And we obviously want to do a ramp in on that. And reset run. Now you can see it's cutting with this, you know, much not on the tip, it's coming up more. And you could come up even more. It's good for, uh, good for tool life. Make sure it's, that's true. Yeah, you can see it a little bit there. Good. Do the same, boom, 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 curve. As quick as I go through this, and I think I'm pretty quick, I think, uh, um, yeah, I think I'm pretty quick. I gotta tell you, this is still what makes the job shop world hard because uh, this is skilled labor, for lack of a better term, and it, um, takes time to program this stuff and, and you make mistakes, especially if you're trying to go through it quickly and it's, uh, it's a little bit of a brain drain because you gotta be thinking. Um, but I love it, but um, from the business side, it uh, can be tough. Okay, so now let's do this radius. But before we, do, before we program it, let's take a look at the tool. Here she is, it's a double-ended carbide three flute two millimeter corner radius tool, but you can see there's a relatively large center area that's non-cutting and the radius cutting part is offset. So let's pull up the Mara Tool webpage where we bought it from and look at the specs to get our cam code created. Here is the Mara Tool page. These guys are not cheap, but they should last and it is two-sided. So what we need to know that's really important is it's the .078 radius, which is two millimeter. By the way, I use Google all the time to convert. I assume everybody knows this, but you just type in any dimension, you know, 14 feet to millimeters and it gives you the instant answer, which is great. That's just showing how smart it is. And what we really need to know is, um, obviously 3 8 shank, but the big one is tip diameter of 0.209, and that's that center part. So let's hop back into Sprout, and we will create a new finishing water line. Sorry, I'm talking out loud here. New finishing 2D contouring, and we will select, I think we want to select, not gonna lie, I had to go check that real quick. We want to select the outside edge here, which can be that one, curve. And we'll actually, we'll rename this uh, corner radius. We, we're going to need to uh, 2D contour the um, part out first, but we'll come back to that in a second for the t with the tabs. So in here, it's going to be a um, two millimeter radius tool. And it's a, I think it's a, yeah, mill with negative radius, which is exactly what it looks like. And we'll call it tool 200 for me. Length I don't really care about. Diameter is 375. And then this is what we care about. That's the two millimeters, so we'll, uh, or what they call 0 
and that looks good. We'll go 5100 and eight, seven, maybe work feed seven. And now we want to cut in theory, you want to come down two millimeters to be the 0 0.078. But I don't want to come down all the way because I don't want there to be a line over here where the tool ends and this face starts. So I'm going to come up a thou higher, which means I'm only going to go down 0.077. And then likewise, you have to um, offset the tool path by that, um, where was that? This tip diameter. And so 209 divided by two would be 1040.1045. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna add just a hair. So we'll come over 0.11. And the beauty of um, rendering is you'll be able to see that um, no problem. So we'll move that. We'll start that over here, and add a little bit of a, of a radius. Now, before we can do that, I need to cut out this part. So, um, let's see here. I just gave something away. You see those things. So let's see here. New finishing 2D contouring. Choose the OD contour of the part. Um, profile part. We'll call it. We will use <clears throat> tool 31, tool 31, diameter 0.25, and 5100, 12 parameters. We'll go down negative 0.125. We'll do this one in a couple passes because I don't want to clog up the part, and we're going to rough it out. I'll show you why here in a second. 0.2, and we'll say the distance, you know, 0.09. Let's see what that gives us. And see here, click OK. Now, if you notice, we've already got um, our tabs automatically built in. It's no secret as to why, folks. It's because Sprout will not cut into clamps or fixtures if you are. Even though they're disabled visually, they're still there, which is great. So let's go edit our stock real quick to show what we're actually going to be cutting it from. So primitive uh, box from bottom southwest point, we're going to be cutting it out of a pretty long piece. So we'll just say it's like six inches long or something, negative three, and it's a four inch in the Y. And so we'll say four, and let's make sure. Oops, how did I do that wrong? Oh, I typed in the wrong Y delete this first one here. Okay, oops, negative two, sorry about that. Delete this first one again. Okay, that's what it's actually gonna look like, which is very helpful now because we wanna inspect this operation. So we'll rapid simulate up to that. And now we'll take a look at what this is gonna do. So. We've got our tabs already, and good. I want it to come over before it goes down again. That way we're not slotting too deep. Now it goes all the way through. And same thing. Now, my preference is, and this isn't a production run where we care about high, high volumes. We're gonna do a one cleanup pass just to make sure but sometimes you get some um, chip weld or it gets a little nasty because of the slotting in there. And what else did I just want to do? Oh yeah, I want to ramp, still want to ramp it in. Okay, and is that doing that? Oh, that was the corner radius, sorry. Here we go. Now I can't, let's think about this. I can't really do much of a lead in because, um, oops. Well, now I've done it. Choose that arc again here. Let's see here. If I just, I, I want to barely do a lead in, lead out like that. And now, yeah. 
They just give me a little something here, not much at all. You don't, I think the concern is you're gonna, um, you don't wanna reduce uh, or unintentionally reduce the size of your tab to the point where you don't trust this inte structural integrity of the tab. So wrap it up to this. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, that is, I can tell that that is a slight <clears throat> radius in, which is which is good. It should look pretty nice. Okay, bang through all this. Yeah, that'll hold just fine. Now, before we do that, we need to come here, so that's the profile part. That leaves three full height tabs. Now, copy this, paste. Now, let's see here. I'm gonna call this trim down tabs. And we need to come, we need to come down <clears throat> just so that they're at least low enough for the corner radius tool to get through them. So, trim down tabs, we're going to go into fixtures and we're going to turn off fixtures from the previous operation. That lets us cut or machine where it otherwise thinks there is a fixture. <clears throat> so we will go back and we need to, actually I'm just going to reselect it. Curve. You know, I need to break this thing here. I forget how. There we go. Now let's do. Let's turn them back on so we can see where they're at. Okay, there's yep. Yeah, there's one over there. Actually, it'll be easier to select half a curve. That way, you don't have to deal with the. I'm splitting it like that. And this guy. Curve. And drag this. Oops. What I do. I got these confused here. There we go. Okay. So, uh, do we need to do that? Um, Yeah, that's actually not bad. Ooh. I'm trying to, there we go, and drag that one past it, past it like so. And so what we'll do here is we will do the same tool and we'll come down to 0.08. That should leave 40 thousandths, which should be plenty, and that will let us uh, use the 0.078 tool um, depth to do the corner rounding. And this, I think the same ops will work here. So trim down the tabs and then the corner radius. Now corner radius, we also don't want it to be impacted by these tabs. So run, run that. Oops, let's see here. Okay, now to get the um, fixtures out of there, um, usually I just had to uncheck fixtures from the previous operation. For some reason that's not working today. Maybe that's a cork in Sprut 9 that they haven't fixed. Um, but just hit the delete key and you actually delete them and run. And now you get it. Same thing on corner radius. We obviously don't want the um, radius tool to think that it's got a, you know, break. If we look now, see it's trying to, oh no, there you go. Huh. Now it's, uh, now it's fine again. That's, oh, because the previous operation didn't have anything. That's why. Reset, run. Okay, so let's see here. We should render up to that point. Okay, we'll, f we'll quickly profile the part. That leaves tabs. Goes all the way through though. Boom, 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 boom. Does a quick cleanup right here. Now we should go down to 
0.08. We've still got enough tab, but it should leave enough. And I, oops, got to turn off. That's why you love simulation. Turn off the offset. Reset. Run. Save. Now, render up to that point again. And hit play. And if you see, we're not touching the bottom of that fixture tab, which is great. And boom. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Oh, I was, was going to go do, do that in two passes or a finish pass. It looks like I uh, forgot that I already had that chosen. Let's take a look. What did I do here? Oh, you know, I think it automatically did it because of the depth. So let's um, let's intentionally do it in two. Or you know, what? we'll do it in the we'll do it in we'll do it in one, but we'll do a. Oh, excuse me, I had to finish selected. Sorry, folks. Okay. Last thing we just need to do is engrave the Wednesday widget. Now that's a pretty small font. Let's turn off the fixture view fixtures. Um, let's see though what it'll look like. We might use a ball end mill, we might use a proper engraver. So finishing, 2D contouring. You guys know how I love selecting stuff. We go to the front face, choose this, oops, hold control, alt, excuse me, and then drag back up. That deselects most of it. And you can, um, you can Deselect, actually here we'll go to the top and we'll just drag and hold alt there and that deselects everything except these two little guys and boom, very painless. Hit control A, select all these, turn off offset and there is our text. Now let's edit the tool. Okay, let's see what it looks like. We'll try ball end mill first. 364, it's tool 83 for me. Three divided by 64. Spherical end mill, 5100, and we'll do it at 6, see what that's like. We'll come down, 0 0.0, 3 thou, and that should be good. Plunge feed, or sorry, approach feed, I want it 50% to slow down that. And let's see how that engraves. It might be too fat of a tool. Oh. I don't know, that actually might work okay. No, yeah, see when you turn off, that's a little bit too fat. I thought that might be the case. Let's, um, let's switch it to an engraver, which will be tool 84 for me, and that is a quarter inch but it's a 0.25 but it comes to a yeah that looks right comes to a 30 degree tip um, work feed will slow it down to four just to be conservative same thing now let's compare let's see here the better view here was to turn off that yeah um, you know that's not uh, it thinks it's too shallow that's just a graphics card issue let's go if you go down five thou it'll show you I think it'll show better well that's gonna work sorry the um, graphics card here doesn't render that very well but I uh, will go back to three thousands we'll make it four thousands ATF regulations, if you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, okay, so are we all set? I think we are. Uh, let's hop over to the machine and take a look at the fixturing and uh, make some chips.